Hello everyone and welcome to Victoria's Cantina. Today we're having a look at the Hasbro Jurassic World Dino Hybrid Hybrid Armor Indominus Rex. This along with the Hybrid Armor and Kylosaurus are the first two bashers and biters in the Dino Hybrid line. Looking at the packaging here, same exact thing as we saw with the Ankylosaurus. You get your JW logo on the upper left, you get an image of the T-Rex on the far right. It says Dino Hybrid at the bottom with the blue stripe. It says Indominus Rex, Hasbro Ages 4 Plus. There's one side of the box, there's the other. And then here at the back, you get a look at the toy. There is the Indominus Rex. It says you get jumping action, you get battle armor that is removable. And uh, Hybrid Armor and Dominus Rex, Hybrid Dinos Battle for Survival. And uh, you have the official JW logo on there. Doesn't mean that it's good, just means that it's official Jurassic World. Then Universal, yada, yada, yada. Here's the bottom right here. It gives you a look at the Raptor Blue and Kylosaurus and T-Rex. I'm not sure why there's not more hybrids on there. So let me go ahead and get this out of the box, and I'll take a closer look and see what it's like. All right, you guys, and here's the Hybrid Armor and Dominus Rex out of the box along with her two pieces of battle armor accessories. And uh, I just gotta say, this figure is really hard to stand up. So if at any point during the course of this video you see her topple over, it's because she's got a poor center of gravity and the feet should be side by side. They're not, one's in front of the other, so she does fall over. So let's go ahead and focus first on the dinosaur. As you can see, uh, this is the same exact dinosaur we got previously with the Basher and Biters and Dominus Rex. Even the paint is kind of similar, even though it is a little bit more detailed. Let me go ahead and bring in the regular Bashers and Biters and Dominus, and we'll get our comparison out of the way as long as they don't fall over because they're both pretty hard to stand. Although the original release over here, in my opinion, was one of the better Bashers and Biters, the new one does bring a little bit extra to the table, what with its new paint and added armor accessories. Yeah, if you want a movie-based Indominus, you're going to need to get the original over here, but if you're a little bit more adventurous, then the hybrid armor is probably for you. You can see that the hybrid armor version has a little bit more of a pearlescent sort of thing going on. Uh, just like all the hybrid dinos so far, we get a little bit of metallic paint to it. It's a little more subtle. Dino damage is pretty much the same on both of them, and action feature is the same, but right there you can see the color difference between the two. Looking at her from the front, you can see how she is just so off-center. It's just really poor that uh, she doesn't stand at all. Uh, this side, you still get those screw holes there. Same as before. They could have plugged them. They didn't. Going to give you a close up here of the hybrid armor Indominus. And um, it's got an okay sculpt. Like I said, it's one of the better bashers from last year's line. I think that it does look like the movie counterpart enough. Uh, it definitely has some of the same detail, like the underbite and the spikes on its head. And uh, the eyes on this one are red, which I don't think is film accurate, but whatevs. Uh, rest of the body, as you can see here, um, doesn't have a whole lot of detail. I mean, if you look at the legs, they actually do have some pretty good sculpted detail. So does the tail uh, to a lesser extent, but the legs are pretty detailed there. Um, as far as the color goes, it is similar to the original release, but it has a little bit of a purpley blue kind of sheen to it that runs along the top of its body. And you also get that hybrid uh, sort of pattern. It's like the DNA sequencing. It's very subtle here in the front, but you can kind of see it here more on the side and then especially more here toward the back and along the tail. So uh, it is there and that does keep in theme with the dino hybrid aesthetic. And uh, from the other side, same thing. Seems like it's a little more metallic on this side than on this side for some reason. Is it just me? No, it seems like there's a little bit more metallic paint on this side. She's got the yellow stripes running along the top of her body from her snout down to maybe about a third of her tail. And they did paint the claws on her, uh, just as they had with the original release. So, you know, it's good. They didn't lose any detail there. Uh, as far as the dino damage is concerned, it's still there. Uh, you get the JW logo right there. Um, there are these little patterns here on her shoulders. I, I don't really know what it's supposed to be. It's just kind of like a little grayish sort of thing, but you do see it on both sides. And as far as articulation goes, it is the same. You do get your uh, joints here at both of the arms. You don't get a whole lot of movement though. You can move both of her legs and you're gonna need to do that in order to get her to pose. And then the action feature is the same. You just push down on the tail and she just kind of rears her head up and roars. Inside the mouth looks pretty much the same as before. Not a whole lot to be seen. Now as for the hybrid armor, 
This piece actually comes on her in the package. She's already wearing this, and it's basically just a covering. It's very similar to what we saw with the ankylosaurus, where you just place it on her. And as far as paint and detail goes, uh, I mean, that's basically it. It's just gray and then yellow, a little bit metallic looking, and uh, it is very rubbery, so you don't have to worry about stabbing anybody with that. Now, to get it on her, you're just going to just kind of like put it on her back like, th like that. It, it kind of clicks a little bit. Uh, it's not really an audible click, but you can kind of feel it when you're, when you're putting it on. So that's basically all there is to it. I mean, it's really nothing remarkable. It just kind of makes her look like she's got extra spikes coming out of her back. <laughs> I love how the hybrid armor plugs into the screw hole right there. At least it's good for something. As far as the other piece is concerned, uh, this part goes on her head and uh, aesthetic is very similar to what we saw with the piece that goes on her back. It's just as rubbery. And basically all you're gonna do is just kind of line it up with her horns and with her head until you find the sweet spot, just like that. Now she's wearing a very medieval looking helmet <laughs> sort of thing, which I still think looks a lot like this. So um, yeah, I mean, it doesn't look particularly good. Uh, in fact, I would say that the ankylosaurus looked a little bit better. It's just kind of weird. I mean, for even a dino hybrid sort of thing, this just doesn't seem like that great at all. It's actually pretty bad. Like why couldn't they do something a little bit more inventive? Now you can still do the head rearing thing, even if she's wearing the helmet. So that's not gonna affect it at all. The armor on the back does cover the dino damage just a little bit. So maybe that offers some protection or maybe it irritates it even more. Hey, maybe it's actually piercing her skin and that's why she's got dino damage. And if you thought that she was top heavy before, this armor just makes it a lot worse, a lot worse. Like no matter how you tweak the legs, if you want to have her in a horizontal position like in the film, it just isn't going to work. It's just not going to happen because of the way they designed this thing. So uh, what you've got to do if you want to get her to stand is just kind of push your legs all the way back. And uh, it, it's not really pretty and uh, it's not very movie accurate, but you know, that's the only way you can get her to stand. And even then, I don't think that she's gonna stay like this for long. So now let's go ahead and bring in the Indominus's wave mate, the Ankylosaurus. And these are both pretty radical, pretty far out, but of the two, I do think the Ankylosaurus is a little bit better. I mean, basically they took its anatomy and just exemplified it. Uh, with the Indominus, I don't know what in the heck they did with it. It's also interesting how they removed the painted detail for the dino damage on the Ankylosaurus, but on the Indominus, they left it on there. And because some of you guys liked this one I did in the Ankylosaurus video, here's a look at last year's Bashers and Biters Indominus wearing the hybrid armor. Can you tell the difference? Neither can I. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, so there you have it. This is the Hasbro Jurassic World Dino Hybrid Hybrid Armor Indominus Rex. All in all, this is quite terrible. I mean, even with the Ankylosaurus, I was willing to cut it a little bit of slack. It was the kind of thing that it was just so bad that it was good. This is the sort of thing where it's just so bad that it's bad. There's really nothing redeemable about this. Maybe the paint scheme, and if you just play it without the armor, it's okay. But once you get that armor on there and try and get it to stand, it's just a huge mess. Now back at Toy Fair, Hasbro did show some other versions of the Basher and Biter and Dominus Rex with red paint that very much matched the hybrid version of itself in the Ludia game. Those would have been better releases. This to me just kind of feels like a waste of money to be quite honest. There's nothing redeemable about it. If you already have the regular Indominus Rex or the Bashers line, I would say just stick with that. For a kid, it might be fun to take off and put the armor on, but it's just so hard to stand that it really inhibits the functionality of the dinosaur, even though that function was already inhibited since it's so hard to stand without the armor. So yeah, no dice with this figure. If you see it in the stores, run. All right, my friends, I hope that you enjoyed our look at the hybrid armor in Dominus Rex more than it enjoys being in existence. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And as always, I want to thank you for watching Victoria's Cantina. Till next time, my friends. Bye-bye.